Can I make money buying a $700 Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box? We're about to find out. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and the other day I was hit up by Black Magician 28 on Instagram and he told me, hey, I've got some more mystery boxes because in the past I bought one mystery box from, it was a long time ago, I don't even remember what the title of the video is, I'll try and find it, but if I can't, you know, we bought one before. And it was pretty awesome, I think it was around like $300 at the time, so he hit me up and he said, I have three different mystery box sizes available, 300, 500, 700, which one do you want? And of course we picked the $700 option, so we're gonna open this thing up today and we're gonna see how much we actually can make from this or lose, probably lose money, but we'll see but first we have a giveaway i'll be giving away this dimension force first edition booster box all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know how much you think we will make or lose off this mystery box uh just go ahead and put a guess now without seeing the mystery products uh just give a wild guess you think it's gonna be really good you think it's gonna be bad let's just see how close you are first of all we have thank you from black magician 28 so you guys can go check him out also go give me a follow on instagram if you don't already at rex 34 because i do a lot of single sales over there like for nice cards like psa cards and even ungraded stuff so go check that out if you guys want to get some stuff there, let's get into the mystery box. First item we have Ghost from the Past 1 First Edition. So for the subtracting from like the total value, we're going to be doing the pulled cards. So I even though what you really do when you buy a mystery box is like we would take the value of this mini box sealed because that's what you're actually getting. We're doing the actual cards we pull just to make it more fun. You know, let's see if we can actually pull the value, which is going to be really difficult. But if we pull a Dark Magician here, that's a lot of the value of the $700. Three packs. We have Black Cluster Soldier, Dark Magician, and another Black Cluster soldier let's see if we can pull the dark magician we have Lavalval all dragon hieratic seal the seer yaru the rare metaphors bismog gear and the mayor mill meteor black common dragon next one goes from the past what can we do we have terror of trishula metaphors we got to recover we got a molten and we got a starry night rail okay look how it's different why is it different they're all ultras i don't understand that like gave me hope that it was a ghost rare but it wasn't okay next pack so far we have pretty much made nothing back we have not made a lot back from these uh ghosts from the past packs let's see artifact durandal evil thorn resonator call salamir gay foul dragoon and eagle oh all right okay so if we kept this value would have been like 20 30 dollars now we're at like zero next we have a oh Strike of Neos Blister Pack. Okay, this is pretty insane. Let's go. Let's see what we can get in here. Strike of Neos Blister Pack. I think there might be some booster boxes in here, which means we might not open every pack out of here because if it's like a booster box, you know, like five booster boxes, we don't want to open all those and make it like a 50 minute video. All right, so in here we have a Cyber and Dragon. This is a little bit bent up, but that's naturally how it is out of these blisters. They're very hard to keep in nice condition. So is this one. So definitely not like near mint, maybe like mod play or something like that, but maybe they have some value then we have two strike of neos and an enemy of justice so this is pretty cool stuff that's first edition by the way let's see what we can pull from strike of neos you guys know the air neos is a very big card that you could pull out of here so if we can get the air neos that would be pretty insane that would be a crazy mystery box for sure we did get the air neos out of those mystery packs from troll and jode go check that video out that was pretty cool let's see what we can get we got the come on grin swift samurai storm six samurai yaichi firestorm prominence legendary ebon steed Shin's foot soldier and a cloak and dagger just a rare an emblem of the awakening so we are over there but that's okay and by the way this is like a 100 blister i think it's something like that so we would have about a hundred dollars if we didn't open it so this is just another time where you can see where it is not worth it to open stuff like this but we're doing it anyway emergency call it might be a dollar element zero necro shoid shaman ne not necro shade necro shaman cyber gymnast cyber kieran lay the liberator can we get that shining phoenix enforcer let's do it power capsule elemental recharge Oh, and the Wild Wingman. So we did get an elemental hero, but it's just the Wild Wingman. Still really cool, super rare. That's probably worth a couple bucks. Okay, we're finally subtracting from that $700 total. Very nice. Let's go with Strike of Neos. What can we pull? Swift Samurai Storm. Silent Abyss. Raging Earth. Marionette Might yet again. Synthesis spell. I was That was tough. Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Neos Force and Grand Tactician of Dark World. Dead gum. One day we're going to pull the Air Neos. Guys, I'm telling you, one day. Next, we have a Rage of Raw booster box. This we are not going to open in today's video, but this is really cool. So, because we're not opening it, we get to add it to the tally. Then we have a Dawn of Majesty first edition. This got a lot better with a Luber and stuff. I don't know if we're going to open these booster boxes or not. And then we have a Toon Chaos Unlimited. That's actually pretty cool. Toon Chaos Unlimited. Haven't seen that in a while, but uh, nice booster boxes. We're probably not going to open these in 
this video because there's a lot more to open. Then we have a starter deck. This is pretty cool. Okay, starter deck, like five, it's a 5Ds era starter deck. Yeah, I had a couple of these. I don't, what are they even called? They're just called 5D starter deck. They don't really say like anything else. It's 5D starter deck. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Uh oh, more sealed product. Ghosts from the past too. And you know we're opening this one in today's video, guys. Let's see what we can pull. Look, it's so much different. Like on the Ghosts from the past one we already saw earlier, you, they had like a spot for them. Now it's just like they dumped them in there. Like here, open it. Just open it. First pack. Let's see what we can pull. We have... Vision Hero, Ghost Trick, Ryza, Sanctum, Fist of the Unrivaled Team. Okay, three more packs in this mini box. And then we got four more boxes for the display. We got the Ghost Trick and Chimera Tech. Yeah, it's the third card in these rather than the fifth. Advanced Ritual, Ghost Trick, Shell Knight. Okay, Despian Tragedy and Vampire Dude. Despian Tragedy is decent. The final pack here, we have Dramaturge of Despia. Good. Salamang Gray, or Salamang Great uh, Blaze Dragon, Elements of Neos Kluber, the Lamia, and the Ghost Trick Delahan. All right, we got the rest of the display out. Let's see what we can get out of here before we move on to the next few things in the mystery box. There's a lot to go. Visioner of Varus, very nice. Brute and the Manju of the 10,000 hands. Yet another good reprint of Manju. The thing has been printed a lot recently. They really didn't want it to be a $3 common anymore. We got a Visioner, Protector of the Agents, Moon. Yang Zing Piranha. Okay, still a few packs. We haven't pulled a ghost straight from Ghost of the Past in a while. So, uh, okay, that was a Ruxin special on a five card pack somehow. But uh, it would be nice to get one soon, you know? It would be nice to get a Dark Magician Girl. We got the Rampage Dragon. We got the Chronicle Magician, False Fusion, Malefic Cyber End Dragon. All right, Ghost from the Past, baby. Give us something epic. We got the uh, Geomath Mech Fossil. We got the Rise of the Mega Monarch. Very cool. And the Rose Spectre. No ghost so far. I'm just saying there's no ghost. Uh, we were trying to pull ghosts the other day, and we had some uh, pretty good luck. Go check out that video recently where we opened a box for EX Gamer. It was pretty insane. Despia Theater. We got the number 38. A Heat Soul. Very good. And then a Yazi. Evil of the Yangzing. Very cool. I'm ready to get excited for a ghost chair. I'm ready. I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to get hyped. Let's go Heavenly Dragon. We've got the Shell Knight and the Motor Shell. So far, some decent cards, but nothing to really go too crazy about. Let's see. Sandwich, Generator, Master Flare, and Tinny Spirit. All right, next, Blue Eyes White Dragon Pack. Unfortunately, we did not grade a PSA 10 in our video and the PSA return, but still a pretty epic card. We have a couple of those nines. Let's see if we can pull another one that's PSA 10 worthy. Can we do it? Deco Togger Heat Soul, good card. And Despian Tragedy, another decent card. A few more packs before we move on in the mystery box. A lot more in the mystery box. I'm pretty excited about Master Flare Hyperion. That looks like a ghost rare for a second, but it's not. It's not a ghost rare. We have the Despian Comedy. We got the Yang Zing, the Dark Alligator, and the Mystical Shine Ball, which apparently had a ghost rare misprint sort of in uh, a foreign language. I don't remember which one it was. Box Friends, we got the Alter Guys, the Chaos Graffer, and the Mech Phantom Beast Colt Wing. Two packs to go. What shall we pull then? We got the Yang Zing, got the number 97 Dragoobleon, and Fluta Summoning a Karibo. Final pack before we move on. So far, these have been okay. Nothing too insane though. Vision Hero, Galaxy Soldier, actually a pretty good pull, and then the Doom King, Baldurok. Next we have, oh look, Dark Neostorm. I've seen this a few times. So we got a couple packs of Dark Neostorm. These are in those mystery boxes recently. We got three packs. Can we get Fusion Destiny, which is not as good anymore. So it might be even down even more on price, but there's some other good cards in here. Philo, Nightmare Incarnation Edele. That's a pretty good one. Secret Rare. Right off the bat, we are totally adding value now. Let's go. It's very gonna be interesting to see like the sealed added value versus the not sealed, like stuff we kept sealed versus the stuff we opened. It's Mystic Mine. Very good card. One of the better cards in here, to be honest. I mean, one a YCS recently. Probably going to be some value in that. Okay, just a super rare as well, which is pretty cool. We got the Emperor Maju Garzette, Pegasus, Goki, Danger, and a Mayakashi winner. Okay, honestly, still pretty good. A secret rare and a Mystic Mind, which is not bad. Next, we have a Brothers of Legend Blister Pack, which is pretty cool. One Blister Pack. Let's see what we can pull out of one pack. We could get a Dragoon. One pack of Dragoon would be pretty amazing. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. Starlight baby, let's go. Dr. D, the Soul Binding Gate, Ice Bound God, Dollhouse, and Centaur Mina. Okay, it wasn't the Dragoon. Also, make sure you guys check out my Twitch channel because I've been streaming every weekday from early morning to noon ish and sometimes after that. So go check that out if you guys want to see that every single weekday. It's been a lot of fun. So go give me a follow there. Link in the description. Next, we have a sealed Majestic Red Dragon 10. And you know we're going to open this up. There's some pretty cool packs in here like one Star Server Drive, two Absolute Power Force, two Shining Darkness, plus, of course, the promo. So let's open up this 10. I mean, so 
far it's been some pretty awesome stuff in this box for 700 bucks i don't know like sealed how the value stacking up but uh, i think it's doing pretty good honestly it feels pretty strong there's a little note in there from 2010 then we have our majestic red dragon which is always very warped out of these but still really cool then we have our two packs two packs unfortunately they don't do any first editions like they did in 2009 and 2008 or was it 2008 only i don't remember but still really cool stuff let's open these up let's start with a shining darkness we still need a ghost rare blackwing dragon unlimited for the binder so let's see if we can pull it ghost rare blackwing let's go Y cube wad fox we got the black ween strafe wing strafe i should say well phantom hand that's kind of weird worm call wave motion inferno okay there's a secret rare the infernity inferno and infernity break okay don't remember this card like i've probably seen it at some point but i do not remember it very cool secret rare good start next let's try an absolute power force i also need this in unlimited so all this unlimited stuff we could really use it let's see what we can get oil man informer spider power invader reptilian naga panda borg gravekeeper stella Cards of Consonants. This is actually a good card. The original print of Cards of Consonants. This is Away and the Power Supplier. Super rare Cards of Consonants. Still a pretty good card if you're playing like Blue Eyes, which is, you know, not a good deck, but still pretty expensive card because of Blue Eyes. All right, let's go with Stardust Overdrive. Can we get that Ghost Rare? We've opened a couple of first editions of these recently because of the most recent mystery box. The Chaos Box. Let's see if we can pull something good now out of the Unlimited. All right, Molting Escape. Ground Spider. Savage Coliseum. Level Eater. Spida Egg, Reptilian Skyla, the Reptilian Spawn, and an Inheriated Fortune. Inherited Fortune. <laughs> Inheriated. What am I saying? Two packs to go. Let's go Absolute Power Force. Save Shining Darkness for the final pack. Let's go. It was one, two, three, and then you swapped these, I think is what it was. I don't know. Something like that. Psychers, Rose Fairy, the Lair Wire, the Variety Comes Out, the Advance Force, Swordmaster, Call the Reaper, Inverse Universe, Offering to the Immortals. Oh, never mind. We put the rare at the end. Okay. We messed that up. <laughs> okay. Shining Dark. Okay. So when we pulled it, it was three left and we we're putting three to the back. So the fourth one would have been a common and then you swap them. So one, two, three, four, and then you swap them. That we were one short last time. All right. Magical Triangle of the Ice Barrier. Hunter of the Black Feathers. Kravis in a different dimension. Kwaki Miru. Sandman. Bob, Bob, Bob. Power Break. Ronan Toten. Good card. Blackwing Ghibli. The Searing Wing. The Ally of Justice Core Destroyer and Dragon Laser. Okay, we are lasering with dragons. That's about it. But don't worry, that's not it for this mystery box. We have a Rarity Collection Premium Gold Edition. I Wait, can't you get like a Ghost Rare in here? No, Collector Rare. I don't remember what was in here. Let's see. Okay, we have 15 packs, which apparently have gold rares and other stuff like that in here. Collector rares. Let's see what we can pull. I don't remember what is exactly in here, but they have some pretty rarities in Japanese. We got the Miracle Fusion. Very cool. The Ghost Rare. Not Ghost Rare. Why am I trying to say Ghost Rare? Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight. Ultra Rare. Foolish Burial Prismatic Secret. Oh, there's only four cards. Okay, so those are nice cards. I don't know the value really because it's Japanese. It's really hard to find values on this kind of stuff over in the US, but some of it is pretty nice rarities for people. Let's see what else we have left. We have Dynomiscus. We got uh, Engage. Very nice. Super Polymerization. Good card. And, whoa. Ooh, a Max C. That's actually pretty nice. Max C Prismatic Foil Rare. I think it's, what do you call it? Prismatic, right? I don't know. It doesn't say Prismatic Rare anywhere. I guess it's just Secret Rare for them. They're regular Secret Rare. We don't get that foiling, though. We've got the uh, Foolish Burial. I really like... Wait, is that shiny? I really like how they do theirs, though, where it's like, it can be Super or Prismatic and stuff like that. We've got Return of the Dragon Lords. Monster Reborn, and is this our gold rare? Ooh, so it is like our premium gold rares, except not as, you can't really feel them as much. Cyber Dragon Infinity, I think. Really nice card. Okay, that Monster Reborn looks super clean. I really like the look of these. These are really, really nice. They have very, very nice cards over in Japan, which we all know, I know, we don't get these. The uh, Dra Armageddon Knight, we've got the Salaman Great. Ooh, Ghost Spell. And, ooh, whoa, okay. We got another Cyber Dragon card. I don't remember the name of this one, though. Still no Collector Rare. Let's see what we can get. I think the Gold Rare is actually the big pull, I think. So, we got the Cyber Dragon, which is cool. Phantasmate. We got the Raigeki. We got Chaos Dragon Levianir. And we've got an Infinite Impermanence in the Secret Rare. That is very nice. Let's see what else we can get. We've got a uh, Super Rare something, a Super Rare something. we got another Cyber Dragon Infinity. And we've got, what is that? I don't know what that is. Some sort of robot. Okay. Still more in this mystery box. What a crazy mystery box. It's been pretty awesome. Let's see. Uh, ooh, spell and a spell fragrance. 
Arby's Feather Duster. And, ooh, Grenmaju de Aiza. That's a pretty looking one. I like that. So far, pretty amazing opening, I would say. We've got the Millennium Eyes Restrict. Maxi. We've got a Ghost Bell. Uh, Ghost Ogre, sorry. And a Dynamiscus. Very nice. What can we pull? We have no Collector Rare yet. Let's see. We got the Tour Guy. That's nice. Ooh, and an Abyss Dweller. That's another pretty card. A lot of very relevant cards in here. They really print some good stuff in their reprints, which is pretty cool to see. We've got a Relinquished Anima. We've got whatever that guy is. A Spirit Winter Cherries, I think. And then, ooh, Miracle Fusion. That would be nice to play in Edison. That looks sick. A few packs left of this, and then we have a couple more items in the mystery box to see, you know, how we did, how our money is. Armageddon Knight. We've got the Abyss. We've got the Infinite Impermanence. And we've got whatever this is. <laughs> it's the Baryon Force, isn't it? Rank is a Baryon Force or Rank of Magic? Barian Force. That's our collector rare. Oof, that's painful. But look at that. Whoa, that looks good. Wow, that looks so good. Why do ours not look like that? Pretty cool. Three more packs. Let's see if we can get anything else good out of these. So far, that was probably a, a dud in terms of a collector rare. Let's see what else we can get. Ash Blossom, that's beautiful. And then a cross out designator. Wow, cross out was out so far before we got it. Because this is a pretty old set, I think. A couple years old at least. We got, oh, Chris John Alka Fibrax. Very nice. Wait, did we get another collector rare? We did. Ooh, and a Melody of the Awakening Dragon. That's actually sick. Maybe I should put that in my blue eyes deck. And then a Kagar. Is that Kagar? I think. Wow, that's beautiful. That is definitely nice. There's two collector rares in these, which is sick. We got a Pangratops. Very pretty. Uh, Extravagance. We've got mm, Spooky Dogwood. And then a Mega Fleet. Chimera Tech. Mega Fleet, right? Mega Fleet. Something like that. One more packs. One more packs. Plural. One more of the plural. Okay. Crackdown. We got the uh, Cross Out Designator. We've got, there's the guy we got a collector rare. And then, ooh, another Ghost Ogre. That's the Ultron art. Very nice. So that was a pretty sick box. But do not fear. We have more stuff. We have a legendary collection. Very nice. And then we have some more single packs. These single packs include Invasion of Chaos. We have Number Hunters. We have Lord Attack Young Galaxy, Cosmo Blazer. We got Burst of Destiny, Dawn of Majesty, Blazing Vortex, Lightning Overdrive, Battle of Chaos, Genesis Impact, and the Grand Creators. So we'll be opening up all this stuff to end the video. Oh wait, we also have a PSA card. We'll do that at the end. All right, inside our legendary collection, we had a promo pack, of course, and then we had our six booster packs. So we have all these different packs to open up. Let's see what we can get to end out this video right before our PSA reveal and then let's go. So far, we haven't pulled really anything crazy, but the products have been very good so far. A nice variety as well. Human Puppet, Kage to Kage, number 54 Lionheart. We just saw this recently for like the first time. I didn't even realize what that card was. All right, let's try the Invasion of Chaos. Can we pull something amazing like Chaos and Brew Dragon? I believe we can do it. Prickle Fairy, Recycle, Fenrir, Salvage, Blazing Impachi, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Chaos Sorcerer, Enraged Battle Ox, and we have a big burn. The super rare that you never realize is actually a super rare. On to the next one, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Very nice pack, a lot of good potential. There's a ghost rare in this set. We think we still need the unlimited, so let's see if we can get it. Xyz Block, Eagle Shark, Burner Dragon Rule of Sparks, the Magnum Shield, we got the Mimimic, Battle of Boxer Counterpunch, the Lightning Dragon Ruler of Drafts, Sonic Warrior, Big Whale, and that's it. It's the Big Whale. Let's end it. Now let's try the Pharaoh Servant Pack from Legendary Collection. Can we get a Jinzo? Let's do this. Haven't gotten Jinzo in quite a while. I believe we can do it, though. We got a Flying Comic Carry number two, Type Zero Magic Crusher, Dark Fire Soldier number two, Drill Bug, Driving Snow, Metal Detector, Seven Completed, Nobleman of Extermination, and an Insect Imitation. For a while, this was like a $6 card, then it got a reprint. <laughs> now let's try the Dawn of Majesty, a Luber, Seeker Rare, which was 130, then it came all the way back down, so I don't know. There's some other good cards in here as well, though. Gunkin, we got the uh, Koan, 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 Koan. Oh, we got an Ultra, but it's one of the really bad ones. This is the guy from Naruto. Very nice Ultra Rare. Not really, it's not nice at all. It's pretty bad, actually. <laughs> let's go to Cosmo Blazer. Let's see if we can get that Heart Earth Dragon. I don't remember what number it is. Number what? What number? Because this is actually a crazy valuable Ghost Rare. Even an Ultra Rare is crazy. Let's get that. Goblin Circus, Hazy Flame Griffin, XC's Dimension Splash, Crimson Blader, and XYZ Remora. Why is it a Hammerhead Shark? That's very interesting. March of the Monarchs and Fire Formation Dinky. Okay, we didn't get the Ghost Rare. Now let's try a Burst of Destiny. DPE, unfortunately, not as expensive anymore, but still a nice pull. We also would definitely take a Starlight. Let's go. Magnificent Magiki Moftil. Locking. We got the Niami. We got the Sinek Cascade. Ice Shade Tenola. Gemini's Lord Gold Knight. We got the DD Soul Carrier. Heavy Interlock. Just a super. It kind of looks like a collector rare for a second. And a Penguin Ninja. 
Blazing Vortex, Blazing Dumpster Fire. But can we get the Pot of Prosperity? It's a pretty nice card, pretty expensive card. Let's see if we can pull it. We got Archfiend Staff of Despair, Springin's Blast. Oh, Ruxin Special. We got the Neroy. We got the Linear Equation. War Rock Skyler. Giga Attack, Thunderclops. We got the Sacred Tree, Beast, Hyperion, and Fabled Treason. Just a super rare. Let's try Lightning Overdrive. Let's see what we can do. What can we electrify with the Overdrive? Arm Sage. You and I. Binary Blader. We got the AI Meter. Amazement Special Show. We got the Scrap Raptor. Very nice card for the Dino Decks. A nice little engine add in. War Rock Generations. S Force Edge Razor. Okay, not great. But don't worry. Battles of Chaos. There's some good ones in here. Battle of Chaos has some good packs, some good cards. You can also get the Dark Magician, so maybe we'll get that, you know, in the middle of the pack. Flower Dino, Ogdoidic Serpent Strike, Smoke Mosquito, Skill Brown Magician, Doll Monster Bear Bear, Rock Scales, Gojic Shot, Vampire Fascinator. Okay, Fascinated with Vampires. Not what we're looking for. All right, Genesis Impact. This is not a great set. But Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden, is in here, which is nice for Alistair Invoke decks. So that'd be nice if we get the Collector Rare of that. Number 96, or even the Ultra. Bottomless Trap Hole, they got Drytron Gamma, and Drytron Alpha Thuban, another Drytron card. Woohoo, great, awesome. Grand Creators, let's keep going. Grand Creators got some good stuff in it. It did us dirty, though, for a couple cases, but... Rocks and special, right to it. Noah Punk. Punk cards are worth a lot, so I'm going to pull that aside just to make sure that is not one of them because Punk is a very good deck right now. Now we're down to the five packs left from the Legendary Collection. Let's go Spell Ruler. Let's get that Relinquish. Relinquish. Duh. Not T. I always put a T on it. We got Darth Maul. Performance of the Sword. Twin Long Rods. We got the Horn of Light. Labyrinth Wall. Tayo number two. Mega Rayuran. Anakoto Dama. Very nice. Dark Crisis time. Skill Drain, which now got a recent ultimate rare printing, but still a very valuable rare. There's also Exodia Necros. Let's go. Spell Reproduction, the Staunch Defender, Thousand Needles, Rod of the Mind's Eye, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Drag Down to the Grave, Archfiend's Roar, Dark Scorpion Combination, and a kill though. But we still have Invasion of Chaos. That can bring it back. So far, nothing really crazy in our pulls. Very awesome, like, packs we've opened, but we haven't really pulled anything crazy, which is, you know, that's just how it goes with opening packs. Chaos End, Spatial Collapse. we got the Smashing Ground Common, Boganian, Stealth Bird, Stray Lambs, and Soul Tigre. Two packs to go. Pretty awesome mystery box opening. Of course, we save Metal Raiders for the end. Let's go Legend of Blue Eyes. Can we get that Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's do this. In Warrior number one, Remove Trap, Furious Seeking, Dark Energy, Skull Red Bird, Masaki the Legendary Swordsman, Man Eater, Two Pronged Attack, and Hinotama. Flick 500 to slightly better sparks. Final pack before the PSA card. Metal Raiders. Can we pull the Pequeno Moth? Flame Cerberus. Blast Juggler. Battle Steer. We got the Oguchi. Musician King. Killer Needle. Rock Ogre Grotto number one. Little Chimera. No Pequeno unless it's right here. Oh. Oh, and a Time Wizard! Okay, that's a way to win. way to win, a way to end this epic opening Time Wizard. We finally got an epic card, and that is an awesome one for sure. And the final item for the $700 mystery box. I don't even know what it's going to look like in terms of value, but we probably did not make a lot of our money back, but let's see what this PSA card got. I think the mystery box overall was really awesome. Like, we had some really cool products. We just didn't have the luck of the opening. Plus, we have a couple we have not opened yet. Let's see what is in here psa graded i think oh it's a reprint guy of the dragon champion this is very cool this is before they started putting reprint on the label by the way that's a new thing so if you see one like this it's not automatically not a reprint because it doesn't say that it's still a reprint it was just an earlier like graded card so they hadn't done that yet so this is a reprint psa 9 this is really cool this is a nice addition so overall we did this well i don't think it was that well it was a fun opening for sure if you guys enjoyed this make sure to let me know that you want me to do something like this again and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the content make sure to check out the twitch stream as well, five days a week. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Stone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palmer, Puffins Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Stanley Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Another Tie Show, and Tom McLean. Thank you guys for supporting this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.